Hey everybody, uh, Cheryl, uh, Zuck, WhatsApp uh, mobile security team. Uh, I am going to show you how uh, AppDome uh, could have prevented the attack uh, on uh, the WhatsApp app that happened uh, uh, on the 14th of May. Uh, and I'm going to use AppDome to do it. Uh, so uh, what is AppDome? Uh, AppDome is a no-code uh, mobile integration platform as a service um, that enables you to uh, add uh, new functionality to existing apps with no code or coding. Um, one of the use cases that I'm gonna show you today, a uh, key use case for us is adding mobile security to uh, an app. And I could add that in seconds on AppDome with no coding uh, using only uh, a copy of your mobile app binary, which I'm uploading uh, to AppDome uh, right now. Uh, while uh, I'm uploading the binary, uh, the platform is uh, scanning the app for structural integrity and uh, visible signs of tampering. Uh, it's also figuring out what framework the app was built in, uh, libraries that the app supports, uh, security that you already have in it. Uh, and then I'm going to use AppDome to add uh, security. Uh, namely, I'm going to add encryption of data at rest, uh, encryption of uh, in-memory data, uh, binary-based obfuscation, uh, as well as anti-tampering and anti-reversing. I'm going to start picking the features that I want to add. Uh, first, I'm going to start with data at rest encryption, which I simply enable via this toggle box right here. Uh, with AppDome, I also have a lot of options with uh, how I want to manage and implement the encryption. Uh, I could even go beyond uh, the encrypting the file system here and uh, in encrypt in-app preferences and uh, encrypt in-app strings and resources uh, to protect uh, any data that might be sitting in the app uh, stored in the clear. And, uh, with this option, which is uh, uh, brand new and unique to AppDome, you can uh, encrypt data stored in memory, transient data that uh, is stored in memory. So with AppDome, you can protect all three states of data, data at rest, data in transit, and data in use otherwise known as data in memory. Now, since WhatsApp already has uh, data uh, in transit encryption, um, I'm not going to implement that on AppDome. Uh, so uh, with AppDome, I'm adding data at rest uh, uh, and uh, data in memory to complement the existing encryption that uh, WhatsApp already has uh, in the transport. Uh, right here, you're looking at a functionality we call AppDome One Shield. Uh, this is uh, app hardening. Uh, technology, uh, anti-debugging, anti-tampering, uh, app integrity and structure scanning, uh, and anti-reversing. Um, these features uh, that I'm going to implement to the WhatsApp app uh, would have uh, prevented the app from being reverse engineered. Uh, in effect, uh, the attackers uh, had uh, reverse engineered the WhatsApp app and uh, figured out uh, how to uh, send a specifically crafted set of packets disguised as a normal phone call. Uh, that in actuality uh, overwrote uh, some memory space and uh, enabled the attacker to install their own software and also move laterally uh, within the app and uh, to the phone and uh, eventually uh, you know, take control over the environment. The key is to prevent the app from being reverse engineered in the first place and that's what these features will do. Um, now complement that with uh, binary based obfuscation uh, and that would have made the, uh, the app virtually impossible to reverse engineer. So right here uh, I'm going to enable uh, binary code obfuscation. Uh, and so the one of the culprits of the hack uh, was traced back to a C library that uh, was not obfuscated. And on AppDome, uh, with this toggle box enabled, that obfuscation would have happened automatically so that the app couldn't have been reverse engineered in the way that it was. Flow relocation uh, is, a, is, is a feature that uh, supplements uh, binary code obfuscation and essentially scrambles um, uh, and relocates uh, code. And, and basically, if the attackers uh, gain access to the app, uh, it kind of leads them down a wild goose chase. Uh, by giving them misinformation. So this is more of a misdirection type of, type of feature to confuse uh, attackers. Debug information. So a lot of times, uh, you know, developers developing the apps uh, uh, leave stuff behind um, in, in the debug logs, and, uh, and that information is often used by malicious parties to sort of uh, piece together how the app works. So, you know, clicking that button uh, there uh, would uh, strip out um, uh, any, any information that was uh, mistakenly left behind. So once you've made all your selections, uh, you simply click that green button, build my app, and the AppDome platform uh, automatically um, adds uh, that functionality uh, to the app. Uh, no code, uh, no coding required. Uh, this integration is happening uh, in real time. This is not a mock-up 
for a demo. This is actually a, a live uh, implementation. So uh, this process takes about 30 seconds to a minute. Uh, Aptome leverages uh, artificial intelligence uh, and machine learning um, to, uh, to do these integrations. So uh, the pl platform has uh, over 30,000 integrations uh, under its belt. It gets smarter with every integration, um, and uh, there you go. So that integration is complete. Uh, and uh, you could even uh, templatize uh, these integrations and automate the entire uh, integration itself via our REST API. That you could integrate right into your existing continuous integration, continuous deployment build systems. You don't even need to modify your workflow. Uh, you just tack uh, Aptome onto your existing workflow at the end and uh, in 30 seconds and no additional development. You add these additional security features to supplement the security you already have uh, and uh, you do this build by build. So hope this video was helpful. Uh, to try this for yourself, go to fusion.aptome.com. You can open uh, a free trial account in about 30 seconds and be completing these integrations within minutes. Uh, or give me a shout at uh, alan at aptome.com to learn more. That's A-L-A-N at aptome.com. Ciao.